Ready? The birds are causing this. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. So in previous shows, we've taught you how to do some important skills and combination moves. And now it's time to talk game strategy. And we have Scott O'Gallagher to break it all down. What's going on, 2K fans? I'm Scott O'Gallagher here. I'm going to give you guys some winning tips here because I know you're playing against your friends on the couch or when you're playing in competitively online, I'm going to give you one good look out of a 1-4 set and that can guarantee you a good shot. As you guys can see here, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors. And we're in a four-out, one-in set. You hear that as 41. What does that really mean? It means four, four around the perimeter, one inside. In Golden State's case, they got four very good shooters out there. As you can see here, we're bringing the ball up with Steph Curry. We want to get the ball to the middle of the floor and call a pick and roll. But before we do that, we need to clear out the floor. So we're going to go with an isolation here, quick isolation. How you do that is D-pad left followed by D-pad down. So now we've gone into a 1-4 look. You see NBA coaches do this, down. So now we got four across. From here, what we want to do is we want to call a 15 screen roll or a pick and roll with our big. In this case, it's Andrew Bogut. Why are we calling it for Bogut, you ask? It's because he's currently guarded by Mozgov. Mozgov's a rim protector, he's a big seven footer. We're gonna play this right here from the top. Why call a screen roll on the top? Because it's the hardest to play and it's the hardest for Mozgov in this scenario to trap from. So as we roll forward here, now stop it here. As you can see, we've set the ball screen up. That's primary option number one. Get the defender leaning one way, take him and use the screen. So as we take this screen here and we turn the corner, pause it right there, we've now put a lot of pressure on the weak side defenders. What is weak side? Weak side is, imagine the line is split down the middle of the basket. Now we say, where's the ball? Wherever the ball is, is wherever the strong side is. So the weak side defenders, in this case now, are J.R. Smith and LeBron James. Since all the pressure is on LeBron, we want to make him come, and then J.R. Smith is either going to have to come down or stay home on Klay Thompson. What does LeBron do? If LeBron stays, we lay the ball up or we shoot the little mid-range jumper. If he comes, then we're going to either pass it to Harrison Barnes or look at Klay Thompson on the wing. So as we move forward here, LeBron semi-commits. We don't want to take a shot at Love. Wide open three. It's a great set late in games. I hope it works for you, and I hope to see you guys back here and join me again for another breakdown. Doing well from long range. That's nice. You've got to have some skills to pull that baby off. I got a chance to hang out with teammates Quincy AC and Shane Larkin as they went head to head in a game of NBA 2K15. Luckily, no controllers were broken in the making of this segment. Let's check it out. Fatigue off. Right. We don't get tired. <laughs> uh oh. Splash Bros. Wow. You was nervous? No, it was real. You was nervous when I shot that. What you, what you doing? You hear the music to let you know like that was foolish of you to try? Yep, double. Double, that's all. Whew. That's textbook right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. that's, that's top 10 right there. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna miss all of them. <laughs> Seven inches. 
matches. Number four, Quincy AC. What's up, guys? I'm here with Quincy AC, and you just went head to head against one of your teammates, Shane Larkin, in one half of NBA 2K15. No defense being played at all. You know, we're just trying to outscore each other at this point. Do you play on the road at all? NBA uh, 2K? I did more my rookie year, but now not so much. You know, I just play when I'm at home a lot. I play my mom player. How long have you been playing? I got my first 2K game, I think it was 05. Ben Wallace was on the cover. Nice. My mom bought it for me for Christmas. And you said that you play in my career a lot. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your my career player. My my career player is he's bald headed with a beard. He's 6'7", 240, and he's a point guard. So the 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 body structure sounds familiar. Yeah. But he's a point guard. Point guard. I That's mean, it. in my mind, I think I'm a point guard at times, but you know, I, I stick to my my strength. But on my my player, he's a he's a point guard. He's pretty dominant point guard too. So how would you rate your level of competitiveness on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest? My competitiveness, it gets pretty high, you know, especially when it get down to crunch time, I stand up, you got to move off around me. <laughs> I saw that going on right here yeah. with you guys. You got to be competitive. So who's the toughest competitor in 2K that you've ever gone up against? Uh, Dwayne Dedman for Orlando Magic. That's, that's a guy that I trained with in the summer. And, it give me a run for my money sometimes, but I think I got the head-to-head the -head matchup. I think I'm winning right now. I like that you wore your shirt today. Put your beard face on. Your beard face on. Which is awesome. So tell me a little bit about that. I, this is my second year having a camp during the summer, and um, my business manager thought it'd be a good idea to have like a, a, a t-shirt drawing contest. And a guy came up with this design of like my beard at the right at the top of the face at the shirt and I mean it was it was amazing. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I saw that and I saw that um, you know, you have the camp and you talk about like part of the reason you like being in the NBA even more so of the basketball aspect is that you're able to do things like this with kids and give back and you know, that's what it's all about, the kids. And you know, I got younger siblings, I have a son and I mean the best part of it is just in their reaction and their faces, their smiles, because they're just so innocent, so. That's cool. So what advice would you give to kids who might want to be NBA players one day? Uh, I mean, just never give up on your dream. I mean, I was that same kid. I, uh, I had, when I remember I had MySpace, and Amari Stoudemire was my favorite player ever, and we were just teammates, so it was kind of crazy. I never told him. But I wrote on his MySpace wall and, and told him how you know, infatuated I was with him. And That's so cool. I never, I never told him, you know, how, how much, like I wore number 32. I used to tell my friends to call me stat, you know. It's, it's just, I idolized them. So before we go, one more thing. Who is the one player that you would most like to play NBA 2K against? I, I play against yeah. I play against Jordan. See what his skills translate to on against the, Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah, I might I might I might whoop him pretty bad because they ain't really had video games like that growing up. So I could see him like not being that good on the video game, but still being like extremely competitive. competitive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get his best game. Oh. Rose against T. Rose kicks to Gasol. championship is now over, but if you're looking for some fierce competition similar to the rival days, then you might want to check out the stage. So let's take a look at the risky yet very rewarding feature of this year's game. I know that we are all a little bummed that the My Park Championship has come to an end, but right now the stage is the place to be. Yo, I got that. The stage is separate from all the parks and there are no affiliation restrictions. You do need some VC in order to play, but winner takes a cut of the prize. And if the stage isn't enough of a risk for you, then head to the high roller stage where the VC goes up like crazy. So take the risk, 
take the stage and have fun. Make sure that you guys keep on sending in those highlights using the hashtag 2KTVWOW, and I'll see you next time.